Painted batch of steroid shots have sparked a national outbreak of meningitis. What is the risk for Western New Yorkers? News 4's Emily Guggenmiss has been digging all morning for answers. She's in the newsroom with the latest. Emily? Melina, so far there have been 35 cases of meningitis in the country. At least five people have died. I've been working throughout the morning making phone calls to see if you're at risk here in Western New York. The state health department tells me three sites in the state receive shipments of the tainted steroid. The meningitis is being found in a steroid injection made at New England Compounding Center. Each patient infected received the injection to the spine, a common treatment for back pain. Meningitis is the inflammation of the membrane of the brain, and doctors worry more cases will surface. The whole thing is in a state of flux, and we're going day by day. Patients in 23 states could have been exposed to the tainted medication. That includes patients in New York. An official with the state health department says three different sites in the state received shipments of the fungus-contaminated shots. All were pulled after the sites were notified on Friday, September 28th. At its worst, it causes uh, uh, strokes, uh, uh, injury to your brain tissue, uh, and some of those sometimes have been injuries to vital centers of your brain. At this point, officials don't know if anyone in New York was given the tainted steroid, and they aren't saying where the three sites are located. I also talked with the Erie County Health Department over the phone. Officials tell me that there were no vials in western New York and don't believe residents need to worry here locally. And state health department officials say they aren't releasing the site locations in part because it might be part of a broader recall. Of course, we're going to keep digging to find out if there's any chance at all that Western New Yorkers might have been infected. Doctors say if identified early, antifungal therapy can fight the meningitis, which can progress quickly. Reporting live from the newsroom, Emily Guggenmiss, News 4 at Noon.